on another championship celebration. And do you ever want to get used to this feeling? Of course, of course. We want to win. We want to win. If there's a championship out there, we want to win. If there's a game out there, we want to win. Um, it's, it's great. Like it, it really is great that uh, this team has put us in this position this early. And I say early into the regular season because it usually takes um, probably the last game. You're jockeying for a position. You're, you're looking over your shoulder. Um, um, and they, they made it clear. They made it clear. Um, and it feels good. It feels good. Coach, you know, uh, tonight might be a little different because there was, you know, a title on the line. But in a season like this where you're winning a lot of games, mostly by double digits, how do you keep, I guess, things kind of fresh and competitive and in practices and then be able to try to make sure you're 100% sharp on the floor in these type of games? Well, <clears throat> we're challenged in practice. Like, there's a challenge. It's not like, a, it's not like it, it, it looks um, out on the, on the floor, like, Probably today didn't look great offensively. Defensively, I thought we did a really great job in the first and second quarter, and then the third, fourth quarters. I thought they they did a good job of just punching it down our throats and forcing us to guard at the rim. Um, and then offensively, I just thought we we did a little bit of better job at pat at, at making shots. Um, didn't have a whole lot of assists. We want to get our assists out. We want to make sure that we are making the right plays and right decisions. But it, I mean, this team, like, even, I don't know, what is this game, 26? I mean, I, I keep waiting for them to, to probably play like they play in the first half, meaning, um, a little rough around the edges, trying to figure out who needs to score, um, defending, defending pretty good, but just trying to find out who's going to be that that person or persons that that's able to go get us a bucket um, that could keep our our offense fluid. Um, so I keep looking for that team that struggles to score and uh, play the right way, um, but they they find a way to only have little glimpses of that throughout a forty minute period. I think we're we're probably more dis disciplined defensively um, than most teams, and that gets us over the hump. And then from an offensive standpoint, I think we got a, enough players that, that know how we want to play, um, even if they don't play how we, wanna, how we want them to play. It's, it's a kind of weird dynamic to it. Um, but I know they're super competitive. Like, I know they don't want to lose, and I know that – um, they don't get rattled. Um, so it's kind of a cool yet scary situation to be in. But 20, winning 26 games in a row is, is pretty darn good. Uh, Coach, 600 career wins tonight for you. And you talked a little bit about that first SEC trophy presentation out there. But are there any other aspects, I guess, of your career that you've been reminiscing on this season, especially given how unique it's been compared to seasons past? Not really. No, I mean, this this team keeps me present, really it does. It keeps me present. Like, how do we, how do we as coaches not get in the way, but also continue to coach them up so they can play the right way? Um, and I, you know, I don't, I think we're always in the way, honestly. I think we're always in the way because we really can't take our foot off off the gas with them. They're so young, they're so free, like free, they're free. And sometimes free is wrong. Like, <laughs> um, that's the way I have to explain it. It's like, they play free and sometimes it looks great and then other times it's just flat out wrong. And that is the, the wrong part is what keeps us up. It keeps us like always on edge to see if this is going to be the team that we that we started out being in June. Like we're still trying to look for that June team, and and they they find a way to to play above that time and time again. 
uh, Breezy was in here saying this feels different to her in the last two years just because she feels like she actually contributed to this one more than the last two years. As a coach, what does it mean to hear that from a player who hasn't started for two years, has started now, and feels like she's maybe earned her spot or earned a championship more than the last two years? I mean, that's the process. That's the process. Anybody that, that doesn't play the probably the role that they want to play feels like um, – they haven't contributed. And then when you're in the starting position, you feel like you contribute a little bit more. Um, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, not not every freshman can, can come in on this level and start. We, we were fortunate to have three or four of them that, that could do it. It's hard, it's hard. They, they were mentally focused, they were physically ready to rock and roll. Um, they were super competitive. Um, and then they were able to, ha to hold their own. Like, it's not very many that can do it nowadays. Um, and, and be where, you know, like I think we got some type of uh, mental fatigue going on and physical, you know, wear and tear of the season. And I, I know probably half of our starters are just looking around like, this, this hurts. Like, you know, how, where do people find the time to continue to excel in the classroom? Um, bring it to practice every day, you know, still do their NIL, NIL stuff, and then still have a social life, you know. It, something, something's got to, you got to sacrifice something. And they're unwilling to do that. They want to get it all in, and that's why they feel as tired as they do. But we're just trying to get them to bear down these last couple of weeks and, you know, put some stuff to the side. Like, they got to really compartmentalize some part of their lives if they want to get what they visualize getting at the end of the season. Don, when you won your second national championship, you were hesitant to call this program a dynasty nationally. Mm -hmm. But now eight uh, SEC regular season titles in the past 11 years. What about an SEC dynasty? Would you consider that? <laughs> um, we've been pretty successful. Like. Pretty successful. Um, I think Tennessee had a dynasty. I don't know where we where we uh, measure up to them, um, but unless we are doing things that they haven't done um, consistently, you can't really call it a dynasty, especially when somebody else holds that holds that uh, reign supreme in this particular conference. You've talked a lot about how the team looked different in June and how you didn't think it was going to look like it does now, but what has been the main difference that has allowed them to be different than that team was? Discipline. As coaches, you get you you, you get up to a point where um, you're not going to allow them to, to lower the standard of our program. Because it was low, and it was lowered in June, and I was – I wasn't – where I wanted to be, but I couldn't because they weren't capable of of holding up the standards because they didn't their standards weren't that high where they come from. They weren't they weren't. You know, you take a Malaysia, like Malaysia could do whatever she wants to do in high school. She could. You know, she's the best player and um and it's nothing against it's nothing against the coaches or anything. It's just, you know, it's it's maturation. Um, you know, you have you have um, Breezy. She's a starter. You know, now, you know, she doesn't know. She didn't know what a starter, what a starter does besides start the game. Like there, there are responsibilities that go with starting, and that's to practice every day. You come in and you create habits so you can perform every single day. Um, didn't know about that, you know. Uh, you know, we had people who were late to class, didn't take academics seriously, and you let them, you know, you you mention it to them, and then you mention it again, and then you say, okay, you're not going to class and you're not going to practice, like you're going to be on the sideline, or take the day off and go over to the dodies for these three hours that we're going to practice. It's it's just discipline when you don't allow them to get away with what they want to get away with, discipline. You take something that they like, discipline. So it's a lot more discipline 
now than it was in June. Don Camilla, I guess she just was a little sore, needed the day off. Do you anticipate her being ready for Kentucky on Sunday? I do. Yeah. I do, but we we we're gonna see how it is. I mean, I, I for for Camilla, she she played in a game on Sunday against Ole Miss. Took a fl flight to Brazil, practiced two days with them, played a game every day, practiced. I mean, she did basketball every day, and it's it's tough. It's tough. She probably had a lot more tougher there than it would be, you know, the, you know, our our habits here, and then come back and take one day off, and then come back and play two games. It's it's hard on the body. So, whatever, however she's feeling, um, if she's not close to 80, 90 percent, we'll sit her down for another game. But I know she wants to play. So. Anything else for coach? Thanks, coach. Thank you.